Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they so want, need, and desire by supplying them with simple tips and strategies to implement into their life so they can create that relationship that they desire. Now today we are going, this, this actually is going to be a short video today. Um, today we are going to be discussing why does it seem like no one wants to genuinely get to know the next person right after this all right fam thanks so much for coming back so why does it seem like no one wants to genuinely get to know the next person specifically in specifically in relationships I don't even want to get to know you no more. Uh, <laughs> and the first thing is because we do not like the process of getting to know the next person because it is a process, number one. And number two, process meaning it's not going to happen overnight. I can't get to know you overnight. I have to date you. I have to um, um, really take the time to get to know you. What do you like? What don't you like? What are your flaws? What are your quirks? What are your goals? Where are you trying to go? What what do you like with family? Do you even want a family? Do you want to get married or not? Do you only want to date long term or not? Do you only want to have a one night stand or not? Like, I got to know a lot of information about you when I'm bringing you into my world. And a lot of people don't like that process. Not to mention that if it don't work out with you after I got all this information that's all up in here, and guess what? It don't work out with you, and then I got to move on to the next person, start all over. Start that process all over again. And a lot of people just do not want to do that. So we keep everything superficial. How was your day? How you doing? Hey, girl. Or hey, boy. There's no depth there on purpose a lot of times and sometimes we're doing it unconsciously because we know that <laughs> oh dang I gotta learn all this information on you and it might not work out so that process kills a lot of us and we feel like it is a full-time job and sometimes it can be especially when you're trying to choose the correct partner and then we feel like you know and am I actually choosing the right person? Even though I went through all of the process of getting to know and to get to know them, and I feel like we are we vibing, everything's cool, calm, and collected. But wait a minute, are they hiding something behind all of that? Is this the real them that's showing up, or is this their representative? I mean, has it been long enough for me to see the real person? Because some people can hide that old stinking side of them for a long period of time. Most people can't, but some people can hold on to it for years before that sucker starts to show up. And then you like, wait a minute, I've been bamboozled. <laughs> and that is a scary thing. It is. Because you really just don't know. And who wants to waste their time? Because that is the one thing you cannot get back is time. Who wants to do that? So... I don't want to genuinely get to know you because that process sucks and it takes too long. The second reason why people do not want to genuinely get to know you is because of their past. And how the past has sucked their butt dry. And has clouded their brains because you know why you tell me. What do I always say here? Why is the past affecting them? Because they have not done the work, and gotten rid of their baggage. Yes, you are correct. I just want to make sure I say it for the people that don't know in the back. Yeah. So they're holding on to that baggage, and they're letting that baggage cloud their brains or put everybody in the same box, look at everybody the same way, because you happen to be a female, because you happen to be a male, but we all ain't the same. We just not. And a lot of us got some dang on sense. And the ones that we hear about, the ones that's in the news, the, no, the ones that's always showcased, those are the bad apples. And they make all of us look bad. But all of us are not bad. And that's for both sexes. Yes, there are some bad men out there. Yes, there are some bad women out there. But collectively, we hold on to the bad 
not realizing there's so much more good, but we focus on the bad. We always focus on the bad or the negative. We always do. And those stereotypes just continue to grow because we're focusing on the bad or on the negativity. Anywho, the third and final reason why we don't want to genuinely get to know each other or one another is because we always think that the grass is greener on the other side. We always think that somebody else's lawn looks greener than our own. Not realizing that as soon as you creep your little ugly self over there, that you got to put in just as much work to keep that relationship going too. You're thinking that, oh, she cooked better or she don't talk as much or she ain't disrespectful or, and then when you get over there, all of that was a facade. <laughs> she takes off all that makeup and she look like, damn, it's the same person. Or she was she wasn't cooking at all. All them homemade meals that she that she cooked you, she went over there and got some stuff and then put it on the plate for you. Or she talked just as much, or even more. She complained all the time. She disrespectful as hell. And I'm saying she, but y'all know that this could be a he too. Okay. We always think the grass is greener over there because we listen to all their stories. And when they tell us the stories, they making it sound like, oh, damn, I want to experience you like that, too. Not realizing that they set you up for the old damn okie doke. As soon as you get over there and they got you, boy, oh, boy, <laughs> you like, what the hell did I do? <laughs> that grass is greener will get you every diggity dog on time. All right, fam, so these are the three reasons that I came up with why people do not genuinely want to get to know you. So what did you think? What are your thoughts? What could I have added on to this list? Because I really just thought that this was short, sweet, and to the point. And so I want to hear what you guys have to say because you know that here at I Love Me, 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 this is a dialogue. It is not a monologue because just like my shirt says... You're getting the knowledge here. And knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is better. So anything that you learn here on I Love Me, Me, especially if you're in a relationship, apply it. Let me know how these things are going. 